Registration is now open for the live online 90 minutes that sang on the 28th of July 2024, which I will be co-hosting again with the amazing Shelley Remo. Together we provide life and business coaching and Shelley channels messages from your spirit guides. My Isla Wellness Academy fall semester courses start on the 30th of July. I run various courses covering psychic, personal and business development skills. All details are on my website and links are in the description box below this video. Hey Pisces, welcome to today's reading. Yesterday we had two very strong masculine and feminine energies coming together or that they have had time apart because it was necessary. So let us see what is going on today. We have got here the bud, potential promise. It's about to happen. Keep going. Wow. Okay. And we have got the wild rose. Do it your way. Embrace your uniqueness and untamed. Pisces, if you are coming together with somebody or you are rekindling or just reassessing an existing relationship, um, then it's really important to be yourself because that is who somebody falls in love with your soul your energy of the truth of you and that is what you radiate and it the more that you can be in tune with yourself the more that your connections will be authentic and remain that way as well okay patience giving birth to something some kind of idea it's about to happen you've been very very patient and the dream wow okay do it your way embracing your uniqueness embracing your dreams your dreams are about to come true pisces it's about to happen. Your patience is being rewarded. The investment that you have made in yourself to follow your path, to engage with you in the way that is about you, is really about to be rewarded. Study. Let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long. And we have got victory. I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. Okay, you have got a dream, a dream that is about to come true. You've been studying, you've been working so hard, you've been working so hard on yourself. You've been investing so much, so much patience in who you are. You've had a dream, you've been working towards it. It could be a dream of financial independence. It could be a dream of having your own business. It could be dream a dream of having a, a beautiful family. It could be anything at all, but it's about to happen. And why it's happening is because you're doing it in harmony with yourself you've been studying how to really tune in to what's right for you but also allow other people around you to be true to themselves as well we have got the nine of chalices and minor cups the happy ever after the ace of chalices wow and the seven of bream bream are ones in this deck so you are very much all about self-expression and that self-expression here with the seven of bream is paying dividends embracing your uniqueness being very protective of who you are being very courageous in the face of other people who don't know how to be true to themselves and they certainly don't enjoy meeting people like yourself pisces who is true to themselves because it reflects back at them the fact that they're not true to themselves but you are about to embrace new love new opportunities and the nine of chalices, emotional happiness, a happy ever after, because you've chosen that. You've chosen to be courageous enough to, to walk your own path, to find your truth. We have got a full moon in Sagittarius and see the bigger picture. And we have got full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. Ooh, okay. What's that about? Uh, no, actually, I'm going to get one of these each. We have got here, ripeness and morality. I feel that you've had your eye on some kind of fairness, some kind of vision that you have of seeing people behave more gently, more compassionately, more lovingly towards each other. And you can get very, very upset when you see people not behaving kindly to each other. And you have been on the receiving end of that, but 
being a Pisces, you've probably been very, very patient. You've probably been overgiving in allowing other people to push their negative emotions onto you, and you have absorbed a lot of that. Over time, thankfully, it's made you angry, but I think don't think that you've necessarily expressed that anger in an outward way. You've used it to go inwards to study what it is that you don't like about how things have been for you, and you have decided that the best way to deal with other people's bad behavior is to go and learn how to be amazing and then help teach other people how to do that. And I think that's taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot of patience. It's taken a lot of investment in yourself, but you have a dream of a world where life is more flowing, more gentle, more beautiful, more loving, more giving here with the Ace of Chalices, Nine of Chalices, having happier times. Seven of Bream, being able to defend yourself in the way that you want to. And you've had to be very, very, very courageous because you have chosen a path, Pisces, that very few dare to travel. You've spent a lot of time on your own figuring things out. We've got a clamshell. You had to close yourself tight to keep out other people, but now you're ready to open yourself up. We had that in a card yesterday with opening yourself up and here, magic, the unicorn. You've had to find the magic in life because for a long period of time, you haven't felt it. But the time is right. You have decided you have got this bigger picture. It is about to be, you are about to be victorious because you can see, you can see how life can be. And you are, you've, you've chosen fairness and you're choosing to help people to see that in themselves. You have a dream where you are helping people to choose love. And that you've, things are about to come into fruition. We've got a ripeness here, okay? So it's about to happen. We've got ripeness and we've got the bud. It's about to happen. Look at that. It is about to happen. Something is about to happen. The bigger picture that you've seen for a long period of time, you've had to convert frustration and anger at injustice into a dream of helping the world to be a better place, to open up to the beauty in life, to open up to love, and you're about to be victorious okay and you've chosen to do it your way and this is very 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 exciting very empowering move that one up there i see this is really really exciting stuff we have got divine masculine electric active power and we have got sensuality feminine wisdom and passion look at that divine masculine and divine feminine energy Wow. I mean, that's the continuation of yesterday as well. There is definitely a sense of you either just working so harmoniously with all of the energies inside of you that you are just totally, totally in balance. And I think that is the case anyway. But for many of you, there is this interaction with somebody else. It does not have to be somebody new. It does not have to be a romantic partner. There is just an interaction coming where there's a real balance between doing things and feeling doing and feeling action and compassion the magician and wow willpower and creation we've got strength whoa courage and endurance we've got the three of shells playfulness and bliss and we've got the three of crystals collaboration and productivity wow Okay, when two people come together, they create a third energy. And here we have the two energies here, the three of pentacles, doing things with people you love, creativity, teamwork, collaboration, cooperation, having fun, playing. Look at the lovely dolphin energy here. And the three of crystals. Sorry, that's the three of cups, the three of shells, and the three of crystals is the three of pentacles. Okay, two beautiful energies, friendship, community, teamwork, doing things together, being very, very, very strong. You're better together, seeing the magic, the magic in doing things with people that you absolutely adore, adore doing things with. Everybody understands their part. Nobody tries to push other people out of the way. Everybody adopts the energy that works for them best. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, two seconds. Oh, had a little bit of a cough there, clearing my throat. Okay, and believe. Wow, look at the sailing boat here. Okay, believe in the flow of life. Believe that you're sailing towards your destiny. Look at this figure. There's somebody in the sky helping you as well, really guiding you, guiding you to flow in the right direction. Perhaps you're flowing towards a sailor. Perhaps you're sailing. Perhaps you're going sailing with somebody. Perhaps that's what you're hoping to do. That's the magic and awareness. Wow. 
again, there's this energy of somebody being present, helping you, guiding you. Okay, what else is going on in this message? We've got the unicorns. I love these cards, they're so fun. Oh, we've got three. Actually, got four. <clears throat> we'll take those two. We have got sex magic. Okay, love sex and magic. All right. Well, that for some of you, that could well be the case with this divine masculine and feminine energy coming together. And flowerful, sweet and gentle power. Okay, how absolutely lovely. And sex magic can also be creativity. So we have got here a moon. Oops. Pisces energy. Ah, doesn't want to come in. Here we go. Very much Pisces energy. Very, very grounded. And wow, look a musical note. Okay. You could be dancing under the stars. You could be singing your own song. There's definitely singing your own song. It's just Pisces energy here. Let's get these. We have got Ignite. Opportunities flowing in. My goodness. Look at this. Believe. Wow. You're so guided. And bury me. Take some time for yourself. Okay. Lovely. Let's see what else we have got. Two of Prem is the Two of Cups. No, it's not. It's the Two of Wands. I think with fish, it should be cups for some reason. I think that's because I'm just so used to the emotional energy of Pisces. But ones, it, it is ones in this deck. So choices, setting some goals, taking action, although it is like two Pisces. <laughs> two, two Pisces energies or two energies that represent Pisces playing together. <clears throat> Having fun. Oh, I've got those two. And we have got the seven, eight of chalices. That's the eight of cups, the queen of steeds. And we have got the ten of chalices. Um, we've got the ten of cups. We've got the eight of cups. The Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords. You're in an energy here of being very objective, very focused, very clear about what you want, what you're not prepared to accept, how you're going to communicate what it is that you want and that ultimately really what's important to you is that things feel good. Love, harmony, divine connections and bringing, bringing the right people to you, walking away from the people that don't serve you and just being very, very clear about the actions that you take. You're happy to play in the water of life, the turbulence of life, but you're also just not accepting anything that isn't for you. So here we've got op opportunities flowing in. We've also got to take time for yourself. I just feel that you've got this total balance. There's a real mastery going on in here about being back, having good boundaries, being very, very clear that if something feels good, you'll enjoy it and you'll and you'll allow it in. And if it doesn't feel good, you'll just walk away and you'll spend time on your own. So it's that simple because it's all about feeling good here with the Ten of Cups. If something feels good, allow it. If it doesn't feel good, don't allow it. Sweet and gentle power. That is sweet and gentle power. Because it's not saying you allow people in and then you get really upset and then you push them away and you get either you get withdrawn or you get cross or you get um you know, your boundaries muddled up and therefore you have to put a lot of energy about sorting your boundaries out again. Because then we have either we overburden ourselves with other people's problems or we end up having to fight for our space to get it back again in whatever way fighting for your space means. Some people it means withdrawing, some people means it means pushing. But because you're so clear about your boundaries and you're so, so clear about what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy, and therefore you're only going to do what it is that you want, and you're very, very, very good at communicating that, 
you've found your voice that allows you to communicate and sing your own song about what you want, then you can have this sweet and gentle power that just says, yes, please, no, thank you, yes, please, no, thank you, yes, no, not for me. That doesn't feel right for me. It doesn't feel good. I'm not interested in it. It feels amazing. I'm go- I'm really interested in it. You know what? That really ignites my passion. That sounds fantastic. I love the magic. I love the creative essential energy that goes with doing things that I absolutely love, but I'm very, very, very happy to be on my own if the alternative is something that I don't enjoy because I love being on my own. I love being with people, but I only love being with people who are fun to be around. Look at the magic in that, the strength in that, the real understanding in the threes here about expressing yourself, who you want in your groups, the expansion that comes with doing things with people that are really in tune with you and you're not contracting in order to deal with people who are not in tune with you. There is total self-mastery in here. It's also harnessing your inner masculine and feminine energy which is inside of all of us. I have divine masculine energy inside me. I have feminine wisdom, energy and passion inside of me. We all do, every single one of us. How we express it is really very much up to how in balance we are and in tune we are with ourselves. Okay, anything else that we need to know today for Pisces? So again, just for those of you who are returning, I'm just going to do 20 minute readings for the time being. Um, I think they might just work a little bit better for this collective on a day by day basis. But I've been doing half hour readings for a long, long time. So let me know what you think. We have got here dream, sweet, sleep, deep, sleep that's deep and last till morn, wondrous dreams for days reborn. And we have got prosperity. Wow. As this tree grows strong, so fine. May I prosper from the universal divine. And. We have got. Building your world, creation, expansion, and networking, and setting boundaries. What did I say? Threshold protection and honor. Okay, Pisces, you're building your world, and you're having in your world who you want in your world. And as you build your world, you'll be very discerning about who's allowed in and who's not allowed in. And as you become higher and higher vibration, which basically means you are becoming more in tune with yourself, High vibration is not a comparison to somebody else. It is that we start to really tune into our unique energy. And as we tune into our unique energy, the people who are in tune with our unique energy come to us. And the people who are not in tune with our energy start to react quite badly to that because we become disruptive to their energy pattern and eventually they move out of our lives or they come into alignment with their energy pattern at the truth of it. And then they become attractive again. Okay, held, sureness of the soil, unseen help, support, and community. And we have got Temple of the Rose, ancient power, expression, activation, and scarlet codes. Yeah, as you're coming more and more into alignment with yourself, you're setting boundaries, the dreams that you've been dreaming for a long period of time are coming to fruition. For some of you, you have been seeking prosperity, and that's on its way. Basically, you're creating the world that you want, Pisces. The Moor, which is the Emperor, and the Ten of Steeds. I think the Ten of Steeds is, I've been getting steeds and swords and bream and horses all ran the wrong way, but it actually doesn't matter. You're sharing or you're allowing the universe to carry the burdens of other people's energy and you're really, really taking ownership. You're very, very empowered. Another divine masculine energy. Maybe you're actually allowing a divine masculine energy to to carry some of the weight of life to provide for you to 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 be with you or like or vice versa. You are feeling so strong in your own energy as a strong masculine energy that you're prepared to support other people in a way that you really wanted to, but haven't felt perhaps able to in the past. We've got the chariot, discipline, determination, and we've got the emperor again. Wow. Okay, things are shifting very, very fast um, in terms of restructuring your life, taking ownership of what you want, 
and the three of acorns. We've got the three threes, three of acorns, foresight and exploration. Acorns in this is, I believe, pentacles. You know, all of these cards have different meanings for them. It doesn't matter. We've got a bigger picture. We've got a draft here. We've got stability, focus, determination. Things are shifting for you, Pisces. I'm going to stop this reading. Actually, I'm just going to get two more cards because I can't resist it. And then I'm going to stop this reading because what this is saying is very, very clear. It is a you're entering a period of real certainty, application and fulfillment. Yeah, you're about to become very your 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 dreams of prosperity of um wishes that you've had are going to be victorious we had a victorious card here you're going to feel very very fulfilled in the tasks the role that you set yourself which is to find more fairness and balance for yourself in order that you can help the world find more fairness and balance in how it is applying itself to everyday living You've been building this world. You've been building this dream of helping humans to be kinder, to be more gentle, to be more happy, to be more rewarding, to be more fulfilling, to be more loving towards each other. But it's taken a huge amount of effort and discipline. Moment to moment we've got here and maturity. Yeah, you have perhaps at times been living, living from moment to moment. You have been stepping across a series of stepping stones in order to get to the other side where you feel safe and secure you have had to find safety and security you've had to do a huge amount of effort a lot of discipline a lot of ownership of what it is that you wanted and here we are maturity things are really 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 coming into fruition for you soul tribe and an ancient an ancient request from your ancestors that you chose to take on, which is to help humans have a happier life experience. And in doing so, experience fulfillment, reward, prosperity, and divine love as well. And Pisces, things are really, really coming to fruition for you because you've learned how to set boundaries, because you've decided to build the world that you want, not the one that you think you need to have in order to please other people. And you're about to open the gates. Look, you've opened the gates to fulfillment. You've applied all of your knowledge that you've been studying. You have focus. You have stability. Things are shifting forward for you. You're in this period of great expansion and the right people coming to you at the right time for you. Um, and uh, expect your dreams to really start coming true and things to really, really start flowing towards you because you're so imbalanced, Pisces. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for today. Bye.